Hello everyone, my name's Anissa, and I have leaves on my nails. Keep watching to find out how you too can have leaves on your nails. I began with these French tip vinyls from Twinkle Tea, and then I spent about an hour and a half trying to get them right because, you know, OCD. Once I stopped caring whether they were placed correctly or not, I moved on and I went in with Color Club number 24, the appropriately named French Tip, which I proceeded to use to make a huge mess. Once you've peeled off the vinyl and you are not happy with the shape of your French Tip, go ahead and go in with a detail brush to adjust the shape, which you probably could have done in the first place anyway, and save some vinyls. And the beauty of YouTube is that anyone can make a video, even if they're not that good at the subject that they're making the video about. Like me. If you're trying to pretend like one of your nails is not shorter than the other, you can actually go in with a cleanup brush and adjust the curve on your nail. This is a secret trick. Don't tell anybody. Honestly, trying to get French tips right and even is like trying to do winged eyeliner. Everybody on YouTube makes it look so easy, but you just keep adding and adding and trying to even out the sides until your entire nail is white. And then you just accept it. All right, Anissa, it's the thumbnail. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Perfect. Don't drive yourself too crazy trying to get it even. We're going to cover it up with a line of leaves. Use a cleanup brush and acetone to make clean up the mess you inevitably made. This is Sally Hansen number 161, Shall We Dance? Oh, there you go. Painting this sheer color on your nails makes them look like they're natural and healthy and beautiful, making people think that you actually eat a balanced diet instead of mostly donuts and Slim Jims from the gas station. Don't judge me. I do what I have to to survive. After that's dried completely, I go in with a quick dry glossy top coat to protect the manicure I've already given myself. So once I use the acrylic paint on my nails, I can just wash it off if I don't like how it looks because that's the magic of acrylic paint. I've got four colors of acrylic paint here. I've got Real Red, I've got Sunbeam, I've got Golden Sunset, and Tangelo. And I'm going in with a detail brush that I got from Twinkle Tea, and I'm making vaguely leaf-shaped blobs going across the smile line of my French tip that I just made. The beauty of nail art is that most people see it from at least 12 inches away, so you can kind of just do your best and it doesn't have to be that great for people to get the general idea about it. It's magic. You're a wizard, Harry.
As I continued painting, my leaves got worse and worse, and far less leafy and more blobby. So that's what I get for painting my nails like 2.30 in the morning. I don't know what it is about French tips. They always make me feel so fancy. And with the leaf pattern on them, I'm autumn fancy. So we all have our hobbies, right? Mine is nail art, I like to read, I like to do other stuff like that. My husband likes to get into crazy hobbies that just are not normal. We've got carnivorous plants, we've had African cichlids, but his newest thing is he's catching jumping spiders from outside and bringing them inside and making them houses. And we've named them, and they are Sekiro and Sapphire. And that's neat. And my life is never boring. Everyone thinks that making YouTube videos is so glamorous and exciting, but at the end of the day, it's really just you in front of your computer talking to yourself in a socially acceptable way. If I did this without a microphone and a computer, people would think I was a little strange. Which, let's be honest, I am. And I have no idea how to finish this thought. By this point in filming the video, I was real tired and I wanted to go to bed and I was listening to Harry Potter and it was right about the time that Voldemort was coming back again and killing Cedric and spoiler alert, it was an emotional roller coaster. After I finished painting the leaf blobs on my nails, I went back in with another coat of a quick dry glossy top coat to seal in all of that work I did. One of the side effects of being tired and listening to Harry Potter is that you forget where your camera frame is. And here is my autumn French tip fall nail manicure completed. And now I will go ahead and do a tippity tap with my fingers for you. There it was. Boom. That's the end of the video. This is my finished nail look. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can follow me along this path that I call life. That was deep. See ya!